Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Coho and I'm a technical marketing engineer, part of the intent-based networking group, Platform TME team at Cisco Systems, coming to you today from Vancouver, Canada. This is the Cisco Enterprise Switching video series where we showcase features, technologies, and solutions that are available within the Cisco Catalyst 9000 series. In this video, I'm gonna showcase the model-driven telemetry features with a focus on the gRPC dial-out or configured subscriptions as well as the open source tooling required to receive and visualize the streaming telemetry data that comes from the Yang data models. Let's begin with just a quick overview of the programmability features within iOS XE. We're going to focus really on the model-driven telemetry features today, including gRPC, GNMI, and the NetConf dial-in telemetry interface. So taking a look at the solution overall, uh, at the very top, we have the Catalyst 9000 uh, series of devices here. They're all running iOS XE 17.2. Now we can um, go in and turn this feature on with CLI, or we can turn it on with, uh, with Yang using the Yang data models. And on top of that, we can do some automation uh, potentially using Ansible. So we'll see some examples for all of these coming up for how to turn on uh, the gRPC uh, dial out or configured uh, telemetry interface. And once we turn it on, we're going to uh, push the telemetry to the telegraph uh, receiver or collector. So telegraph, in this case, is going to listen as a server uh, for the telemetry data that's being pushed out uh, over the gRPC telemetry interface uh, from, the, from the switch. So uh, telegraph is going to receive the uh, telemetry data and then push it out. Uh, basically, it's going to make another API call to InfluxDB. Uh, which is going to be just for storage, right? This is going to be our uh, time series database that we use to store the telemetry data. And then what will happen is Grafana will make API calls again into Influx to visualize this telemetry data. And that's what we see here uh, just in this screenshot on the right. This is actually Grafana um, visualizing the telemetry data that we're pushing out from the Cat9 case. Now this solution is uh, packaged up into a Docker container on Docker Hub, as well as all of the code samples that you see, um, they're all listed on the GitHub page. So I've mentioned NetConf, uh, GNMI, and gRPC. These are the model-driven telemetry interfaces that are available within iOS XE. And there's a couple of differences uh, between them, specifically dial-in and dial-out. So with dial-in, that's when our tooling is going to create a session. Um, similar to like SSH. And then once that session is open, it's gonna subscribe to the telemetry. Um, and then comparing that to dial out, with dial out, um, we're gonna be pushing the telemetry from the device uh, to a collector that's gonna be listening. Now there's a couple of different options that we have when we push the telemetry, um, either on change or periodic. So most of the examples that you're gonna see here are for periodic telemetry. Um, this meaning um, it's gonna push out the, the telemetry data on a time-based publication. And today we're supporting a minimum interval of uh, every one second. So we can go as, as granular as pushing uh, data out every uh, one second. Now the data that's available is defined by the Yang data models and we list all of them publicly on the GitHub page, as well as you can of course download them uh, over the NetConf or GNMI interfaces directly from the device. I put uh, just a couple examples here of, of some of the data models for, these are from 17.2. So for example, we have like install RPC where we can uh, programmatically send the install command uh, and work with the, the software images on there, as well as like IPSLA uh, events and operational uh, data that we can retrieve. These are just a couple examples of the data uh, that's available. Now, when we're working with the Yang data models, uh, I'm going to be using the Cisco Yang Suite tooling. Uh, we have an EFT open for this uh, with limited availability this year. So if you are interested in uh, beta testing this tooling, then definitely um, you can register at the URL below. It works with uh, iOS XE, XR, and NX, uh, as well as it works for all of the programmatic uh, and uh, standards-based APIs like uh, NetConf, RESTConf, gRPC, and GNMI. Now, in addition to Yang Suite, we can also use Yang Explorer, which is a Flash-based legacy tooling uh, that's available on the Cisco DevNet um, GitHub page there. Now, when we become uh, power users here, um, we'll might more likely want to uh, work on the CLI. Uh, so I put some examples for using the PyYang tooling. Uh, PyYang is, is really good on the, on the command line for showing us the, uh, a tree view, as well as for the, uh, giving us the XPath. So we can easily copy and paste the XPath uh, into uh, the configuration or the tooling that we need. 
In this example here, um, one of the new features in Pyang is to, to flatten the qualified, um, the fully qualified XPath so that we can you know, re really easily identify uh, the XPath that we need. And that's what I did in this example here, where we're gonna be using the, the process CPU um, uh, data model um, to instrument the, the five second uh, CPU uh, utilization on the device. As far as quick start goes for gRPC, it's, it's not too complicated. Uh, really, we can uh, copy and paste uh, these uh, two or three subscriptions, 501, 502, and 503. Uh, and what that's going to do is start pushing telemetry from, from our uh, device here at this IP address. And it's going to push it out to the collector that's listening over here on uh, port 57500. We're transmitting this, you know, this gRPC data uh, over, over a TCP connection. So I just showed the examples for CLI, but we can also have examples for XML as well. Um, in this case, we can transmit this data over the NetConf interface, um, backed up by the Yang data model, and it's gonna accomplish the exact same thing where we're gonna push telemetry from our device here out to the receiver uh, and this port over here. And then uh, taking it one step further to automate this, we can uh, plug this XML into Ansible, uh, define our variables, and then uh, we can much easily uh, programmatically uh, turn this configuration on and off on multiple devices. As well, it's uh, much easier for updating XPass when we're adding uh, and removing uh, different KPIs that we want to collect. And of course, um, once we do have lots of different XPaths, then we can take use of Jinja2 templating. Um, there's some examples here on GitHub, so you can easily just put your big list of uh, XPath filters in, uh, run the Python script, and it's gonna generate the uh, gRPC configuration in CLI or in XML format. So you can plug it into Ansible, or you can copy and paste it uh, manually or put it into some other CLI automation tooling. So as far as the demo goes, we'll need to take a look at the Yang data models. And again, I'm using the Yang suite tooling. Uh, in this case, I've loaded up the iOS XE process CPU opper data model. So uh, I've selected the five second KPI here and it gives us the metadata about this. It tells us you know, what, it, what this is exactly that we're looking at uh, and what's the X path and the prefix that we need when we're gonna turn this on with gRPC. So when we go over to the switch, we can just tell it into it here. Uh, once we log in, just verify that, yep, this is a cat 9K. In my case, again, I'm running 17.2, which is the latest version. And then uh, if we take a look at the telemetry configuration that I put in here, it's just um, uh, subscription 101 for that CPU five second utilization. Now uh, I'm sending this out on port in this example, 57500. So when we go take a look at the server or the listener, we'll, we'll just make sure that this is the port that we've configured for the, the server to listen on. So here we are at the uh, within the Docker container. So uh, I just uh, jumped in from the from the Linux prompt into the Docker container here. Uh, taking a look at the processes that are running, I can see there's uh, there's two Telegraph processes, one uh, for GNMI and one for gRPC. And this gRPC um, uh, te uh, Telegraph server, here's the configuration for it. Uh, and you'll notice here is that 57500. That's uh, that's where I'm listening for the telemetry from. Uh, from the, all the different iOS XE devices that are pushing it on this port. Now, just for debugging, I've turned on the output to file. So uh, that's going to just temp uh, telegraph gRPC. So when we um, tail that file, we can just grep for the, the host name, uh, the C9300, and we can see some examples of the log messages coming in. This is the streaming telemetry as it comes in. You can see the timestamp updates for uh, the update interval that we specified here. Now, what we can do with this data is really powerful. Of course, um, in this case, Telegraph is also sending it into um, InfluxDB where Grafana is now picking it up. So this is the example from Grafana, and this is in the top right where we're actually uh, visualizing this over a, on the time series database. So, you know, I'm just looking at the past 15 minutes here and I'm updating this every 10 seconds, so pretty frequently. Um, but we can see that the CPU uh, is, is going between basically, you know, one and, and 2%. This concludes the gRPC model-driven telemetry demo. Thank you.